We're back with the upgraded 70 millimeter Viper. Mainly we're dealing with much more heavy duty landing gear with actual articulation, softer tires, a little bit more power under the hood. And because of that power, our flight times are a little shorter. The main flight just wasn't long enough. So we're back for a second flight and I think I might try some crosswind touch and goes. I don't know. We'll just put this in the air and see where it takes us. Beautiful every time. It is. That's why I stopped talking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just want to have some fun with it. Put it through its paces, admire that nice, bright, beautiful orange. And uh, having said that, Abby, I'm ready for takeoff. Let's go. Yeah. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the main flight video, I'm going to recommend it for all of you watching now. So you know that it is definitely worth watching our videos. I highly recommend some servo wire extensions because um, this was a pain to get the wing. Here we go, we're gonna get by. <laughs> now, this was a pain to run the wires. It really, truly was. Taking off. You good, Terry? You wanna watch? Right. Here we go. The aviation always draws an audience. It's awesome. <laughs> Crosswind's bad today, but this can handle it. Now, Abby, we've done a speed test on this jet before. Didn't we push over 100 miles an hour? I believe so. Okay, so let's kick that landing gear up right here and crank it. It just nice. looks good. Let's Does. climb it. I can believe this jet is air show worthy. <laughs> it is just an awesome jet. Yeah. I think we can knife edge this. I can't remember if the rudder is... Yeah, we can knife edge that puppy. Ooh. We'll just roll it over up here on the back end. And do a nice Cuban 8. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? Are you going the wrong way or can yeah, you do it this way? <laughs> so the Cuban 8, if it's perfect, we hold it right there and then roll over and then pull out or, uh, about you know, halfway down. And we got to maintain our inverted flight and then roll it over. There's our Cuban 8. Yeah, what a great jet. The Viper just cannot be beat if you want the most well-rounded. Snap it right in front of us. Well, the snaps on this aren't that good, remember? <laughs> Will it snap? Yeah, that's a slow. A little bit. A slow Barely. Snap. Just not enough rudder and elevator authority. Now, I could crank some more control into that, but this is out-of-the-box performance, which is not bad. It's low to the ground. It's a it's Woo. a speedy jet. It's a very sporty jet. I don't think it's really a high alpha or 3D kind of thing. You're not going to get that kind of performance out of this, I don't believe. But if you like the sporty speeds, that's what it's all about. But it's fairly fairly trainer friendly too. Now we've got a big crane <laughs> coming down the runway. They're coming so close to you. What I'm going to do is landing gear down. I see him, and we're actually just going to put her down. <laughs> we're going to put her down full flat. It's like they're trying to clip down. you. I think they're racing me. <laughs> We're going to touch and go this way here. Let's see. We got a tailwind and a crosswind. So can we do it? A little, little hop, but that's because I was a little nervous. Stay out of that grass. Ooh, a little power slide with those softer tires. Hey, you were at about and two and a half, 245 on we that. We might, you know, they just turned around. So we're going <laughs> to take off and do another. We're at full flaps, which is not totally recommended, but there we go. Stay we're heavy up. on the right. Kick the flaps off. We're going to come around and do a proper landing on the right. Uh, landing gear is staying down, flaps are up. We're going to land right to left and we'll call today just so we don't hit the crane and get to the <laughs> runway. <laughs> we only have about a minute left of juice on this thing anyway. So guys, this is the best way to do it. Just bring it down, level off, kick those flaps on, come in under some power to get it closer to you, right? You want to get the thing fairly close to you, not just so it looks good on camera, so you can see those wheels touch down. In the world of RC, it's all about when those wheels touch down. The the shocks cases, are working. They, yeah, they're, they're bouncing right back up in the air. That was my speed that did that. Uh, but there you go. There's the, the new and upgraded Viper 70 with the guys working on the runway down in the background. Very cool. Very awesome to be able to share this experience with you guys. And I'll have a link in the description box below. Remember, when you click that link, it helps support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. And I just want to say a massive thanks to God for getting us out here in front of the camera to share this experience with you guys, for blessing us with this beautiful day. All glory goes to Him and we thank Him for everything. You guys are absolutely awesome. 
I want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And if you missed the main flight, we'll have that video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.